all who inhabit it it is actually not morning it is just about noon on monday kicking off this week in my life welcome back hope we have a great week and always i'm just taking you guys with me so welcome back if you're new here subscribe i never say that but just a thought i'm headed to a cafe in park slope i'm actually not even sure which one there's two that i've had bookmarked for a while and this weekend I was down at Park Slope, but Fifth Avenue in Brooklyn was open for just pedestrians. People were like, you know, had tables out in the streets and chatting and having dinner and there was like live music at one point. It was so cute and wholesome. There's a lot of families. Park Slope is family central, if you don't know. And I we walked past a couple of the cafes that I've had bookmarks and I was like, ooh, I need to go there. So I'm gonna go today. I'm either gonna go to Coast Cafe or Velveta or Velvendina or something like that uh, Depending on which one has space. So I'm gonna go catch the bus because again I'm not super far from Park Slope, but like a little more than walking distance, especially in this heat so I'm gonna go take the bus and go get some work done there and I'm excited. Okay, before I run out the door, I wanna take my Bloom Daily Green Supplement. I've been doing this every day just to kind of like keep up with my supplements, wellness, skincare, I mentioned recently, just trying to do the best for like keeping a constant routine of taking care of my body. I love the coconut flavor, I've mentioned it before. This is such a great supplement to take every single day for helping with bloating, digestion, as probiotics, in a cup of water, and blend it in. Their little whiskers, so powerful. Woo! I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to flavors and sometimes like wellness drinks and juices and stuff, but I really appreciate how Bloom actually has good flavors and it doesn't taste like it just came out of the ground. It's really good. And you can check it out, I'll have it linked below if you guys are interested, but okay, now we can start our day feeling good. done with the workout and dropped by the front desk to pick up my mail on the way back and you guys I'm so excited about this package. Isle of Paradise DM'd me and asked for my address and I fangirled a little bit because they're such a great brand. I love their face tanning drops. That's actually the only product I've tried from them before but they said they wanted to send me something new so they sent me this self tanning water which I'm so stoked about because the drops I know they're meant for face and body but I pretty much just use them on my face. So this will be so great because then you can just like spray this and then also the self tanning mitt and kind of spread it out more. I'm really excited to try this because I also will use like self tanning mousses. I've shown you guys before. Um, so this will be fun to try something new. And I really like this because instead of a mousse where you have to put it on, sit in it and then wash it off, you just spray this on, just spread it evenly and then you're done. It develops on its own in four to six hours it says. So this is great if I just like want to get a tan, I'm running out the door somewhere and I don't really have time to marinate and wash it off. So yay, I'll try this out this week, honestly, and let you guys know what I think. But I think it's going to be great because they have such good products. I wanted to show you before and after with the tanning water. So I'm just coming in the bathroom so the lighting doesn't change. Um, and I'm using this light. But this is before, I mean, I just put it on so it hasn't developed yet. But I just sprayed it and used the mitt. Never get acne on my shoulders. So what are you doing here, sir? So I'm gonna put something on that. But otherwise, let's see how it looks tomorrow. You're a priority and allowing yourself even just a few short minutes of intentional reflection can really have a positive impact on the rest of your day. And gently close your eyes and shift all of your attention onto your breathing. And I'm showing 
the after results of my tanning water. I think I can tell a slight difference. It's really actually very natural looking, a little more subtle. I also didn't use a ton of the water. Like I wanted to go light just for the first time to see how it would work. Um, so I'd probably use a little more next time. I also can see it on my face, I think. Also you guys, I'm pretty sure my brow lamination is just completely gone now. It's been a little over, it's been a month. Cause I got it, actually yeah, it's been a little over a month now. So they said that it could last about six weeks, maybe eight. Um, and it did not last six weeks for me. I mean, it's still like a little bit lingering. Like when I put gel in my eyebrows, they don't fall as quickly still. But it's definitely like the main effects of it have worn off. Which I kind of thought that it wouldn't last as long on me because my brows can't hold anything. So I miss it already. <laughs> and I'm so sad. Now that it's like going away, it made me really realize how great it was. I did a meditation this morning. I'm trying to like do that more often. I don't need to stay in my bathroom. After doing the meditation at the La Roche Posay event last week, I was like, damn, I really need to integrate this into my routine more. So I'm trying to do them in the morning. I only did like a five minute one that I just searched on YouTube. So I want to like work my way up and maybe start doing longer meditations to start off my day. But that was nice. It's really nice outside. I think it's gonna get pretty hot later, but during the morning time, I wanna go try and check out the Amster Yard, which is supposed to be this really cute outdoor working space. I tried to go oh, like a month or two ago, but I ended up going to the wrong park, which was still a really nice place to work, Green Acre Park, I think it's called, in Midtown. Um, but then it didn't have Wi-Fi, I think. But the one that Amster Yard is supposed to be a cute little garden with tables and I think it has Wi-Fi. Go check that out just because I think it'll be nice to be outside. It's sunny. Let's put some clothes on. I think I'm just going to throw on one of my like hot weather dresses because it's going to be up to 90 today. And put on some sunscreen on my upper body and then we'll hit the road. I've come to the conclusion that I'm just not someone who has good style. I could end the sentence there. But I just don't have good style in the summer. Like it's too hot to wear cute outfits or like put thought into it which is a falsehood and a lie and I could if I tried but I just I would rather just throw on a lightweight dress and not think about it doing that again this is from H&M one of the go-to ones I have um and I fold down this little ruffle thing because I think it looks kind of funky actually it's a removable strap so it could be strapless but yeah I just can't be I can't be bothered also winter is like that too when actually no winter is like more you know, fun to pick out outfits, but when it's so cold and you just bundle up with like the warmest thing you have, I feel like fall and spring are the best times to actually like curate good outfits. the second time that I'm trying to go there. It's closed. Apparently they close it for like a kid's camp during the day. So it opens too. But it's like 10 So I'm gonna go back to the Anchor Park instead with my now and I'm about to head out the door 
to go to a milk makeup pop-up in Soho and then I'm doing like a lunchtime soul cycle class in Noho. So I just thought it'd be a good way to get both of those things in one fell swoop. Milk is doing a little like hydro grip, hydro station, I guess it's called, um, where they're giving out their hydro grip primer, which I tried and I loved. And it's just a couple blocks away from the soul cycle in Noho, so I signed up for a class with Monique. I've never taken her class before, but fun to try new instructors. I'm going to Connecticut this weekend. Um, we're surprising a friend for her birthday. We had this boat thing planned out, but now we're having to reschedule it because it's, there might be thunderstorms on Saturday. So I'm, I haven't decided basically, I haven't booked a train. I'm just going to take the Metro North. Um, and originally I was going to go Friday. So tomorrow evening. But now that the boat is pushed to Sunday, I might come Saturday morning instead. So basically, I was planning out my workouts and hair washing and all that stuff around this trip. And now I'm like, well, I didn't really need to do this. I could have, whatever. Anyway, I'm mixing up some pre-workout to bring with me that I'll sip on. It is a scorcher today. It's supposed to be 95 degrees, which is the hottest it's been in a while. Um, but it honestly has not been very humid comparatively the last week or so, thank god. So fingers crossed that it's really not that bad outside. Put on sunscreen. Let's head to Soho. stopped by the pop-up. I'm actually glad that I ended up going after the class. So basically I walked past, the line went quickly, but I couldn't tell how fast it was moving when I was there before class. And I was like, eh, I'll just come back after. And I got a nice little Italian ice treat after my workout. So, and it was good, it was like a little cool down. Um, but it was really cute. It's just like a little stop by thing. And I thought that I got a primer, which I mentioned before, I've had, I already have one and I really like it. But I was looking at this when I was on the train, I got the spray instead, which I'm excited to try this. So it's the Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray, which is supposed to be used as a setting spray after your makeup, or you can use it as kind of like a refresh hydrating spray later, which is great. How nice is this for summer, honestly? Um, so you just shake it up a little bit. I don't have any makeup on right now, but it's just supposed to like refresh and hydrate your face generally. I wonder maybe, because you could choose between two different flavors of the Italian ice. There was a blue raspberry and a lime for their different colors. And I picked lime, so maybe they gave sprays to people who got green, lime, and primers to the other color. But this worked out for me. It feels refreshing, honestly, because my face is still warm. Even just like from being outside, <laughs> it's so hot. Feels nice. It's hard to tell if the glow is from this or residual sweat, but I think it looks nice. I can see a little bit of a sheen. It definitely feels nice on my skin, so yay, that's a win. And they also gave out little fans in line, which was nice. I didn't end up opening it in line because there was actually a good breeze. I've honestly been considering purchasing a fan, even like one of those handheld battery powered ones, just because in the subway when there's no airflow and you're waiting for the train in the summer it is like no other circle of hell so it's nice whenever i see people with fans i'm like damn you really you're winning a life right now um so i'm definitely gonna keep this in my tote bag <laughs> oh this helps so much i'll put on makeup later because i'm going to that movie in the park did i talk about that going to a brooklyn bridge park outdoor movie this evening so i'll probably get ready for that and then i'll try this over makeup 
but that was fun. I did my meditation again. I tried a different video that was 10 minutes this time and it was really nice. I definitely caught myself I feel like it's just really hard to stop your mind from wandering so I caught myself doing that and like consciously tried to bring it back in clear my head um, and then got some work done this morning before I left for Soho and now that we're back I'm gonna shower eat some food drink a ton of water and get back to getting some work done I need to submit something to a brand and I should have done it yesterday, but I didn't. So I need to do that ASAP today. <laughs> also, that Soul Cycle class was so much fun. I went to Throwback Thursday with Monique. She played great music. I was very into the class, so that was fun. Also, I think it looks like I am gonna go to Connecticut tomorrow. So I need to get everything done before that. Potentially gonna do the boat at 9 a.m. Saturday. So I wanna be there the night before. So I also wanna pack as well. Let's get it done. Eventually. I feel like I'm scrambling now. It's six o'clock. I still need to make dinner. I was gonna, you guys, last night I tried to make the sauce for this recipe I've done before. It's like a sesame garlic chicken and it's really good. Um, but I was trying to do multiple things at the same time in the kitchen and I'm very good at multitasking usually and I completely burned this sauce that I was making, so I just ate sad. I mean, I used like coconut aminos and some seasonings on it, but it wasn't the same as having the sauce. Um, and I was like too annoyed to remake it last night. So I was gonna make it today, but I'm kind of running out of time. Um, so I might just eat plain chicken again with coconut aminos. But anyway, getting ready, I it was taking longer than usual. It's just one of those days where like, the time is just running through. The sand is running, falling through hourglass and I'm like where's all the time going metaphors aren't working either um I just did all of my makeup except my mascara so before I add it I'm gonna add this as the setting spray to test it out the hydro refresh spray that I showed you earlier so you saw before um my makeup was already a little bit glowy you know what I can use for this to help it dry Look at that glow. Gonna make my dinner before we head to the park. I'm so excited. I haven't been to a movie in the park at all this summer. And there's so many of them always that it's like kind of silly at this point that I have it. And tonight they're showing Psycho, which this is embarrassing to admit. It's not embarrassing, you know? I haven't seen a lot of things. But I've never seen Psycho. But what's embarrassing to me to admit that is, well, first of all, yes, American film classic. Um, Alfred Hitchcock, but the embarrassing part for me is that Bates Motel is one of my favorite shows, which it's like supposed to be the prequel to Psycho. So you see like how he, basically how Norman Bates like starts to show signs of his mental condition. That's what Bates Motel shows. It's such a good show. I mean, it's been off the air for years now, but I rewatched it last year. Um, because I needed to show someone else. <laughs> so that's the movie they're showing at Brooklyn Bridge Park tonight. If you want to go to movies at Brooklyn Bridge Park, they're on Thursdays. Today's Thursday. Um, Bryant Park is every Monday. I haven't been super excited about many of the movies that Bryant Park was showing, at least the days that I was available to go um, this year. So this one sounded good. I have a very slight headache and I feel like I've been making it a point to make sure I'm hydrated and drinking a lot of water today just because it was super hot outside. I was outside for a while and I did Soul Cycle, so lost a lot of water through sweat. Um, but I still am getting like a little bit of a headache. So I'm gonna take an Advil and hope that makes it go away. But also it should cool down now that it's, you know, the sun's about to go down. And again, it wasn't too bad with the humidity today. So it should be fine in the pock. I should see if I have bug spray though because we're gonna be laying in the grass. I'm bringing a blanket, obviously, but like, still. <laughs> also, I'm a little bit biased, but personally, I think that Brooklyn Bridge Park has like the best view of movies, where they do the free movies. It's in the like Harbor View lawn. Um, and it's just like the city in the background. Yeah, I've talked about this before. Love it. There's a lot of things I intended to do today that just didn't get done, so that's good. Um, I don't even know what happened, but I didn't start packing yet. I don't even know everything I'm going to pack. I know one dress I'm gonna wear. Maybe I'll pack a little bit when I get back tonight. I just don't wanna leave it all to tomorrow because I know I'm gonna be rushing around and trying to get other things done in the morning before I leave. Anyway, you guys don't wanna hear me being stressed about stupid things that will be fine and 
are over by the time this goes up. I'm definitely gonna bring this fan. Because <laughs> it's definitely still hot outside. Hey, see. Uh huh. What's the temperature right now? It's about 91 degrees outside. Hmm. Great. I'm wearing this dress which I think is on the fashion page on my Amazon shop. but It's like this one shoulder black floral dress, super cute. And I have my picnic blanket in here and my Birkenstocks just because I know I'll probably take my shoes off when we're laying on the blanket. My hair is down just because it's freshly washed and it feels like a waste to put it up. But I just know that it's gonna be so hot that I'm not gonna want it on my neck and I'm gonna clip it up. But we're gonna see how long I can go without doing that. I feel like this dress was longer before. Maybe it shrunk? I don't know. Or maybe I'm just, my memory after a year is not there because I haven't worn it yet this year. But let's go see Psycho. They have a bunch of different vendors from Time Out Market, I think. So, um,. I did eat some food here, but I might get like a snack or a drink or something down by the water and I'm excited to see the views and the movie and all that jazz. the park um it was so fun and i'm kind of bummed because i was really into the movie and then all of a sudden rain starts falling and that was not in the forecast <laughs> i did not see any thunderstorms did not bring an umbrella and we looked at each other and we're like we should go <laughs> so um we left before the end i don't even know how much we had left in the movie but i do want to watch the end so I don't know if Psycho's on any streaming services. I was trying to figure it out. So I'm going to check and see. I can probably just like rent it on Amazon Prime. But good film so far. <laughs> That's the thing is like I already know the story pretty much. Um, but it's interesting to see like how it plays out. And the acting and stuff. It was a packed field for the movie. I feel like every single time that there's an outdoor movie. They're always packed in New York. Um, but it was really cute. They had a bunch of vendors. Like on the waterfront from Time Out Market, they had food and stuff. We got a little bit of ice cream before we sat down and just like laid out a blanket and it was chill. So at first we were seated in the middle and we quickly learned that there was only speakers. There was one speaker on one side and we were a little too close for it. We were a little too close and it was so loud like in the first they played a little short film at first and it was so loud that it was like distracting like we couldn't do that um so we moved to the back but then once the actual movie started i swear that they turned it down so we probably could have stayed put but it was fine we were in the back which made it easy to make our escape when it started raining we left because we thought it was like about to downpour but it kind of stopped and then it sprinkled a little bit again and it was kind of like off and on um and then we just like watched the lightning that you saw, which was super cool. That was fun. Now it's 10 p.m. I want to try and watch it now. <laughs> so I'm going to look up and see where I can watch the end of it. And other than that, I'm just going to wash my face and get ready to sleep. So. I've been sipping on this coffee and it's all gone now, but I wanted to share that this is actually so good and I struggle to find canned cold brews that I 
actually like. And this one I found at Whole Foods. I honestly just bought it because it was on sale for like $1.29 and every other can cold brew was like four times that price. So I kind of thought it was a risk and it probably was not gonna be good, but this is so good and so smooth and I'm gonna go back and buy more of them and hope they're still on sale. I've actually never heard of them either. It's 150 milligrams of caffeine. I've kind of split it into two different cups like I had one yesterday, um, but it's so yummy. So would recommend a win from Whole Foods. Did I say that I got it there? Let me know what you think. Or if you have other suggestions, I just, I gotta stop doing that. Um, I really like the, as far as bottled cold brews, like the big ones, I really like the La Colombe in the yellow bottle. The blue bottle cans I think are good. The light ones with the little blue label, not the other ones. Um, I think they're called Bright or something like that. But so I was like, okay, I'll try this, but this is a win. So let me know if you have other ones that you think are specifically good. But yeah, okay, coffee wreck. I did end up starting to pack a little bit last night. I stayed up later than I should have. I watched the end of Psycho, which was really good. And then I was packing and I was getting more like work stuff done. And finally got to bed, like probably 1 a.m. after reading. But whatever, um, for Connecticut, I'm packing this blue and white striped dress. I haven't worn this yet. I got it in my newly box, but I'm really excited. My friend is having like a little party on Sunday where she wants people to wear like navy, orange, white, I don't know, but this fits the bill. And um, I haven't even decided what I'm gonna wear on the train today, but I really wanna limit how much stuff I'm packing. So I might just like wear a dress that I'll wear to dinner. Um, and I'm bringing like linen pants and a couple like crop tops to wear with those and a loungy top, PJs, um, another dress that I'll probably wear on the boat tomorrow. But then I need to pack like toiletries, but yeah, not too bad. It didn't take me that long. Friday now, I've edited this vlog up to this point. I don't want to add too much onto it. I know it's on the shorter side. Kind of. I feel like something's lacking in it. Like maybe I want to do a little bit of a life update kind of thing. Just because I feel like I haven't really caught you up on what's going on with me. I was kind of just like, oh, let's go to this thing and this pop up. And I can't even tell you how happy I've been with my skin recently. And I know I talked about that when I showed my morning skincare routine last time. But I just feel like I've actually found something that works <laughs> for me. And that's not to say that I'm not going to try new products or like, you know, see if we can even improve it from there. But I'm just like very happy with where it's at. So maybe in my next vlog I'll do a evening skincare routine because it's a little bit different. It's Friday morning, it's sunny, another hot day outside and I'm gonna run to the train at 2 p.m. I thought I'd be rushing around today, but I'm actually feeling okay. I guess I could do an update on what I'm reading. Another memoir, this one is Know My Name by Chanel Miller. And this is actually an interesting case because I feel like it's, you know, um, her story is one that a lot of people know about but don't know that it's her. That's why it's called Know My Name. If you guys remember the, I mean, remember, it wasn't that long ago, but the Brock Turner assault case on Stanford's campus, she was the victim and she kind of tells her entire story and she went anonymously like through the trial and publicly. I don't even know exactly when her name came out. I know that she's done interviews and press and stuff before this book even, but this memoir is kind of like her telling of getting to own her story and tell from her perspective. Her writing as well is just so beautiful and the way she has a way with words. She studied literature when she was in school. I don't know, I feel like there's just other lessons and stories and things woven throughout that are just kind of like broader than just the case and kind of like points to other things that you could take from it. It's a little bit triggering, especially if you've been in a similar situation. So just like be aware. It's a very interesting read and it keeps me engaged. And she's just like, she also has a way of making it like a little bit lighthearted in ways. So I'm only halfway through it. So who's to say at the end, but she's just now getting to the trial at the part that I'm at. I feel like it's so important just to bring awareness to like the amount of trauma it takes just like going through the legal process after the assault is even over. And she really like paints the picture of how grueling and drawn out and like 
how much of a toll it took on her life, this thing that she doesn't even remember. I'm gonna be reading this, hopefully I'll finish this, maybe even on the train, not going there, but coming back to. Also, I got some questions of what I was reading in my last video um, in like my morning montage. This is The Pivot Year by Brianna Weist. I have shown this, I went to her book signing with this book, so it's signed. So if you saw that vlog in May, um, that was exciting, but it's 365 days to become the person that you want to be. So it's essentially just like little daily mantras. So I don't actually read them every single day. I'll kind of like every few days, like read a few of them together because it's like pretty short for just one page is one day. But it is a good way to start your day. I actually didn't read one this morning. So let's see. Your authenticity is not your stream of consciousness. It is not doing whatever you want, whenever you want, without any regard or consideration for the ripple effect it might cause, for where it might lead. What you do consistently comes to be a characteristic of you, not what you think, feel, or even fear, but what you choose. If you display sincere kindness, even if you feel the hardness or judgment first wash over your awareness, you will come to be known as kind. Okay, I'm just not gonna read all of it because it's her book. It's just like little daily mantras and I feel like I love starting off my days by reading some of these and it's just kind of like food for thought. I don't know, I feel like I kind of alluded to this but it wasn't a fully formed thought last week. It's still not, honestly. I, I've just like felt so many dead ends in trying to find a job because I'm looking for something so specific because I've found, I don't know, like I think it's kind of a curse to like know what you wanna do because first of all, you never know and things change but when you get so tunnel vision on like this is especially like the ngo field in new york at the un is relatively small in terms of like obviously there's tons of ngos that advocate at the un but on you know the set of issues that i am experienced in and passionate about and obviously I'm passionate about a lot of things but like that i want to professionally work on the number of NGOs, that that limits that. And it's just such small teams. Like there's two or three people in an office in New York for an NGO. Even like the last one that I was interviewing with, it was a huge international NGO. And there was only two other people in the office. They were hiring for their third person in their New York office, which is crazy. <laughs> so it's just like frustrating because I feel like there's such a small pool of positions that even come up that match what I'm looking for. And because of that, it's extremely competitive. And like I said, with the other one, I was completely qualified for that. I passed, you know, two phases of the process and there was still someone who was way more qualified because it's just that competitive. So I feel like I, I don't know. I'm like stuck between one camp of my brain that's like right when you're about to give up is when you gotta keep pushing forward and like you know the meme with the diamonds and the it's just around the corner versus like how long is it gonna take before i'm just like trying the same thing over and expecting different results do you know what i mean like i keep waiting to get something and i feel like in life like i can't just sit still until something happens for me you know like i have to continue to put my energy and grow and like push myself in other ways that maybe aren't that like i want to be more creative and do more and maybe not even career wise but i want to like do more writing and like creating things and maybe that's like more trying more in creating content and like things that are in my control kind of thing um so i've been writing and journaling and just like trying to get my creativity moving and just get in a different headspace. The update part of this, I guess, is like, this week nothing has really happened. Like, I haven't really had many updates to provide. Um, I'm still waiting to hear back about the writing assessment that I did for a different job a couple weeks ago. Like, I have a lot of imposter syndrome and I've talked about this. But one thing that I do feel confident about is my writing ability. I do think I am a decently strong writer, relatively speaking. I'm obviously not a professional writer or an editor or anything like that. I've always gotten good feedback on my writing in my work and every time I've had a writing assessment in a job, I've always made it past that phase. So the one that I just did, like I felt super confident in the subject matter. So I think I did a good job. Never actually know and there's probably even better people also writing for them. But um, what I'm saying is like, I feel like I'll, I hope that I'll get an interview 
but I'm still waiting to hear back from that. So I'm in this like in between phase and it's taking a while, but also they took a while to reach out after the application in the first place. There's like a couple applications that I put out that closed in the last couple weeks that like I'm hoping to hear about. So I'm still trying, but I'm just like, I don't know. And I'm just in a like, where is this going? I need to like put my energy into other things phase, I guess. And also just like still scanning for other opportunities that might have come up, but there's been nothing that's like been super exciting to me posted recently. So kind of been a bit of a lull, I would say. Also going home for a little over a week. I'm so excited, you guys. I haven't been home since Christmas and I love being back in Bend in the summer. I think I've talked about this but I'm going back on Monday, August 7th. So I'll be there for like beginning mid August. Sierra, my best friend who lives in LA actually was able to book a trip to come and see me in Ben. So she's gonna be there for two days and I'm so excited. We're gonna do all the outdoorsy stuff. Also, I feel like we haven't really had much quality time just hanging out as friends outside of wedding stuff like it's been so great getting to be a part of her wedding and our friend Sophie's wedding and getting to see each other you know more often for events for that but it's not the same as just like having a weekend where you're just spending time together I want to take the next month or so to really like hone in on myself my goals what do I want where am I going and do a little bit of like a mid-year reset and going home is always good for that and clearing my mind and all that I'm still like thinking through it that's why I haven't really talked about it much but that's kind of where I'm at I'm in this like weird in between and I feel like a lot of my friends are going through it too I feel like everyone's just kind of having identity crises <laughs> left and right um especially career-wise and I don't know but I'm you know we're all on this journey together Oh man, I have to leave in three hours. Okay, and I have so much I have to do. Okay, love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, even though a little bit all over the place and not super story-like. Like it was just kind of random clips, but I'll try and be better next week. Hopefully we'll have more exciting news or updates or something next week. And then after that, I'm headed back to Oregon. So subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Bye.